Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. This video is going to be a little bit different. I don't usually do a like sit down talk through my video, but this weekend was the holiday Easter weekend. And so we, I just did a little bit different. I just filmed like parts of it, but I didn't do like an official vlogging because we were just doing stuff. So I'm like, oh, let me grab my camera. Oh, let me grab my camera. But it wasn't like a whole like walk through the day in my life. It is the morning time. Maxine is over here with me. She's, she's doing quite well over here. She's been licking her paws. She's doing good though. She's healing up really well. Back to chasing our squirrels, back to running and barking and doing all kind of great things. I've been, I got all of your um, tips and advice about the paws and the nails and I, her nails don't get that long. They're just, it's been about a year. And so like she's on the cement, we have the the tile floor so she's constantly like on the back is on the cement we're going for a walk it's on cement so her, her nails are getting down when I get to the point where I see her start to chew on them which it was about last year at this time that I'm like oh we need to get them done and so we go maybe once a year she's only gone a few times like in her whole life because they haven't been that bad and so but now I'm like okay now it's like a little traumatizing so got lots of tips on things for you I even somebody even sent me a um like a dog toy does anybody have these I don't know again who knows it's where it almost looks like a little sanding disc on top and the dog like would put his paw on it and kind of or her paw on it and scratch it and as they did that like out would pop a treat i'm like would the dog do that would she not care i don't know i just saw those something different but i know just different things we even talked about just filing them down a little bit if she needs it like, for like laying in bed like here let me take a little nail file and file them but it's not not terrible they don't get super long i know i have friends that like the dog nails are really long and they have to like trim them like crazy they don't get that bad on her so but she's doing really well so thank you for your concerns and she's doing good run around like normal loving life <laughs> so it's been a good we had a great weekend we had a great weekend this weekend we had um it was easter weekend and so we started out on friday we ended up going to church on friday which was good and um so it's like friday was a busy day like we did all that food and then um went to church that evening and started our evening out right and so we had a good time we had a good time with that and saturday we woke up and we got everybody ready and we got out the door and took the kids on a fun outing so i had all of this fresh fruit and I remember friday my gather your fragments i like i didn't do anything what did i make egg rolls and ramen <laughs> <laughs> and the donut so it was uh um, i didn't make anything else for the weekend i'm like we have food to make and so i had all this fruit this was really really good watermelon remember i wasn't sure like would it be a waste would it be good it turned out to be a very good watermelon so i have faith in watermelon this year because this one was already really good and uh, tasty the the green honey rock honeydew whatever you want to call it musk melon depends on where you're at this was um it wasn't super great like the more white part was a little bit sweeter and the other part was kind of plain but still good still good all around so i was very happy it's one of the watermelons one of those things and the melons are one of those things you get them and you're like are they good is it a waste of my money and so i've been seeing the watermelons at the store and i wasn't really sure do i get them do i not and so i'm glad i did so i made up a couple big bowls of it here and then i just this little plastic one we end up taking with us so i just put a few of each one in there did the strawberries those lasted for a little while i was kind of cutting off the yuck on there because some of them were a little bit more yuckier than others but still good overall strawberries fruit always gets devoured real quick with everything with the kids and with everybody because it's delicious then i want to do some vegetables here i love the like potato peeler what do they call it a peeler a potato peeler potato peeler is what we call it growing up for the carrots yes i've been using this all the time now <laughs> especially for my carrots cleaning those off and then i looked over and realized that we were gifted i forgot that we had these we were gifted some mangoes and so i'm like oh let me cut these up for fruit so these are a rare mango i don't know what the the name is or anything but they said they're like top of the line really good mangoes and they were very very good so here i am you know peeling them up off as best as i can and then they told us that that since they're like again i know nothing about plants but they said just take the pit of them and you can plant them and you can get mango trees from these and so here i was trying to rip this around here <laughs> i'm like this was not very good ripping it off but the pit part and later this week you probably see us and uh, i'll show you how we got the seed out and then how we'll end up planting that but i'm excited for this this was really good these mangoes were absolute delicious Thing. there's so many learning different trees around here the different things that grow and it's like so yummy all the all the new wonderful fruits that we can um, choose from 
and then I'm just getting a veggie tray here. So cutting up some carrots. It's funny, you go years and years and years and you eat those baby carrots over and over and over. Like I know we had them, I mean, as soon as baby carrots came out, right, everybody got baby carrots because they're cute and they're great and they're good. Well, after having them so much now, it's like, and then I got these long ones again. Like I used to buy these long ones. The kids are like, I don't really like the flavor of the other carrots. And so I'm like, I know, it's not funny. It's almost like they're not real carrots. <laughs> I know they're real carrots, but they just don't taste as good as like this does. So I've been just cutting these up and they've been enjoying them this way. And celery, we're back with celery. Remember when there was like a celery shortage or there at least there was some here. It seems like I could never, ever find it. Now you find it all the time. So I was glad to just get this. We just made these big fruit and veggie trays, had them for the whole entire weekend. Still end up having them for the week here as well eating them. I should have saved like the ends of this and threw it in my vegetable bag, but I just cooked all that stuff up for my soups, so I never saved any of it. And then we've got some cucumbers too. Just simple. Carrots, celery, and cucumbers. Everybody likes it. It's yummy and delicious. It's like nothing goes to waste. It all gets eaten up. And then this is our staple that we usually take everywhere. Chicken salad. <laughs> it's like we'll make sandwiches. Kids don't mind making peanut butter jelly. I'm low on bread. I think I only had white bread and the kids don't. Some of the kids, I think there's only a couple that like white bread. Most like the, the wheat bread. So I, I have chicken salad and crackers. That's like our staple. We take this to the beach all the time. Just an easy, delicious thing to make. Now one of my viewers told me to add green onions. So I went up to my little container of of veggies that I'm growing outside and got some green onions, cut that up, and then pickles. They said, add that to your chicken salad. Uh, yeah, I can confirm the best. So, so good. I wasn't sure. One of those things when you take a meal for, you know, the entire family for the day, you don't want to add that as like, oh, here's surprise. We've got this. And if nobody likes it, that's bad. So I ended up making two containers of it one with the, all the extras and one without and then the one with all the extras everybody loved they said that was so so good so we just make our chicken salad with mirko whip salt and pepper sometimes i add mustard not always but i did this time so very simple it's easy we love it like no it's not anything like fancy but it's just so good this with saltine crackers try it it's like a quick and easy meal to eat in the car we like the everything bagel seasoning on it so i just sprinkle some on top and then we ate away. And this was breakfast, cracking some eggs. Made a simple breakfast because we were heading out for the day for a long day out in the sun. So I wanted to make sure everybody had some good protein, some good food in them to start their day. So we just scrambled up some eggs, simple salt and pepper. Didn't add any water, didn't add any milk to it, but just made it easy. And then if they wanted to have a bagel with it, they could. And then we're starting to add some spices. The kids like Italian seasoning and garlic added to it. There they are. And here's our spread for breakfast. We had all our fruit. And then we did our resurrection eggs. Anybody else do resurrection eggs? Long time ago on my channel. I think I have a video of how you make them. We've done these for years. Way back in the day when I first became a Christian, um, we did these resurrection eggs in this uh, women's Bible study that I did. And I'm like, what a great thing. Well, now... And back then, did they sell them? I don't know. I don't know if they sold them. I mean, I know they sell them. You can buy them. But we made our own, and they were great. And so for years, like we would do a homeschool group, that would be one thing we would do is resurrection eggs make them because they're cheap to make. A great like visual reminder of like what you know Easter is about. All those things celebrating. We did them at church for a couple years in a row at our church. And so when it came around, Maddie's like, I have our resurrection eggs. I'm like, oh, you have a re resurrection eggs. That's it. Because I was just thinking, where am I now? I know I packed them when we came here, but I'd have to go upstairs and look in the bin. And so we pulled those out. So that's fun. So I'm sure you can Google on my channel resurrection eggs and what they are. But basically you open up each egg and to tell the story of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so we did that. We did that around the dinner table. Um, at night actually, but I showed a picture of it here and then we had breakfast. This is our breakfast something simple and delicious It was just I wanted to get like a good meal in everybody so that they were full for a while So when we headed out we had a great day. So then for Easter I just put a whole spread of stuff out and said here like whatever you want to take we had specific treats that they asked for so i had their pile of like specific candies that everybody asked for and then the rest of the stuff i just put out as like here what do you want to take what do you want and that was great because just as like i have my own snack bin i think people said oh that's terrible you have a, your own secret stash no it's not actually terrible because i have my secret stash my husband has a secret stash my kids have a secret stash because you know what that's what people do <laughs> or actually they probably don't have a large family and they don't have to worry about like their favorite thing of thing chips disappearing in the cupboard because someone ate it so not that they're like oh, i need to eat it's like you want your specific things 
you want to have for yourself? And so that's what we did here. So they all have their own little snack bin. So right before Easter, it was funny. They're like, my snack bin's getting a little bit low. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, then maybe the Easter Bunny will come and fill your snack bin. And so they were happy to replenish their snack bin. So all of that stuff sitting out, it's like they went up, you, you know, you would think that kids would go, oh my goodness, and take and hoard and take so much stuff, but they don't. They, they like know like, hey, I'm gonna take a few of these, a few of these, and you know, like a couple of these or leave this one or whatever. Even the ones that I got individual for them, the kids were like, oh, I really like those. Are you gonna share those? And so like loving them see like, yeah, I'll share. I'll give you some of mine. You give me some of yours. And so just sweet. So we had all those out. That didn't like, it wasn't one of those things where all of it got out to all the kids. Like they took their favorites. We packed some snacks up for the day to go do our outing here in a minute. And the rest we put in our butler's pantry. And so those are there. There'll be snacks for a, a while, hopefully <laughs> in the cupboard that we can take because we have other outings to do this month. And so it was just good. Get a little something yummy, delicious, something different, junk food, yes, all around, but still treats that they enjoy. And then um, we ended up packing up and heading out and we ended up taking the kids to an outdoor water park. So this was very cool. We ended up going to this water park and we looked up doing different things. Now in Florida, it is spring break. It's spring break for like a month and a half in Florida. I think, I don't know, I think it's the end of March or middle of March all the way to the end of April is what I looked up the time. So because everybody has spring break differently around the country. And so, um, yes, lots of people here. There's lots of people here normally, but spring break, break, it's like magnified. So we were like, do we go out on Easter weekend or would that be ridiculous? Would that be ridiculous to do or would that be something good? So we ended up, we were in our heads, we're, we're going to do water park. We were going to do, um, we looked up different ones. Like there's some, um, I'm going to say quote unquote, a name brand water park. And you're gonna spend a whole lot more money, a whole lot more money. And my thought was, it's gonna be so packed, so packed. And if we spend all that money, I'm like, it's just not gonna be fun. So when we went to the Great Wolf Lodge last year, the kids, like, they went, well, sure, we did everything, but like they went back to the same water slide over and over and over and over and just continued on that one slide the whole time. They loved it. They absolutely loved it. So, this park that we went to was in a town about an hour from us and it was an aquatic center. And I'm like, what a great thing that they did. I think it cost us, it was like 15 for adult, 10 for a child to go. But what a great thing. What a great thing. We went to this water park and they had, it wasn't like huge. In my head, I had this picture of, did anybody else um, watch the movie Die of a Wimpy Kid, The Dog Days of Summer? Where they go to the water park in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> they go there, they walk in, it's just jam packed full of people. And you're like, oh my goodness, there's nowhere to move. There's no place to, to go. So in my head, I'm thinking, what if it's like that? What if it's so packed? It's ridiculous. It was not. This water park was really, really great. Okay, this was the water park. It was amazing. It was such a great, good, clean place. Like it had this huge, you know, the, where the floor drops out kind of water slide. Yeah, I did that over at the Great Wolf Lodge with the kids and I was like, okay, this is fun, I'm, I'm doing it. And then I did this one and I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, like I'm good. And at the end it kind of swirled, so it gave you a little bit of that dizzy factor. So I'm like, mm, I think I'm good. <laughs> But awesome. Kids had so much fun. This was a big giant. They had an Olympic sized pool so you could jump off the diving board and they, it was just a great time. Like it was busy. It was busy, but it wasn't like, oh, it's not any fun kind of busy. You know, there's lots of kids. Kids had fun playing with other kids. You know, you meet friends so easily at a water park and just had a good time. This, this little section thing was great for like little kids. I'm like, if I had a younger child here at the splash place, how awesome like there was some there were lifeguards everywhere lifeguards everywhere and um not even a worry not a worry whatsoever kids had so much fun <laughs> D diving off the diving board doing flips i'm like this little thing was awesome in here there one of the workers was in there they had this big giant coat you can see him walking up the stairs there i had to laugh i'm like oh that would probably not be the best job it's like a soaking wet jacket because inside here they sit where that on the top is a big it dumps over and just gets you soaked but she's up there or both he and she they're both different people and the kids go down the water slide but i'm like oh that would be a dedicated job for a teenager <laughs> but what a great thing what an awesome awesome thing it's like you don't see too many like michigan had a lot of splash pads um for kids to play in like we had a bunch in our like within the state that we lived in but i don't see them really anywhere else in abundance and then look at they had a great locker room this thing right here was to wash and dry your bathing suit genius 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 i saw a kid put the bathing suit in there it like squeezed all the water and dried it i'm like that's awesome very clean very family friendly they even had all of the um 
you could use the life jackets for kids. They just gave them out to you to use. I'm like, awesome. Right away, as soon as you walk in, it says this is a family-friendly um, resort or resort or whatever it says and it says it has like you know specifications of what kind of bathing suits you could wear what you couldn't have I'm like what a great thing they had music playing it was like fun good clean music you know nothing like too loud not like crazy but like f like fun music for like being at the water park at the beach type thing summer fun and so I'm like it was it was just great it was a great great time so the water park was a hit, a hit, hit, hit. The kids are like, when can we come back? When can we come back? They met some friends, they exchanged some numbers, met a kid from Michigan, which was really neat. And so they got their numbers. They can, you know, text kids, the community, the way that you can like pen pal nowadays. I'm like, yes, you guys have video games you can play together. You have phones that you can message each other with. And so great time overall. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We will definitely be going back. It was fun. They had tons of chairs on the outside to sit and relax in. Um, we just, and it wasn't like direct, you can sit in the direct sun if you wanted to, but we were up against like the fence over by the water slides and you could like sit, it wasn't like burning hot sun. They had the little way, the lazy river to go around in. So you could just jump on a tube and go around there if you wanted to, but like it's all like gated in. So you felt very safe. Like there was somebody at the door, obviously your kids could run out if they wanted to, but they weren't just going to wander off and disappear. It's like they had a good time. And then they had a nice um, concession stand too. The prices weren't too bad. We didn't eat there because we brought our own food to have afterwards. I think they said you can only bring in water. Um, do they have snacks? I think you can bring snacks in too. Snacks and water? I think so. But they want you to obviously use their you know, little cantina so to make money. But it was maybe 4 or $5 for like a meal, like a hot dog and or nachos. You know, typical summer foods. But they had drinks and stuff too awesome awesome clean the bathrooms were clean the the little changing room she got shower and a little locker room clean like so clean and very good like yeah 10 out of 10 great place kids had so much fun they were going and just had a great day i thought we you know got good sunscreen on them i thought for sure being out in that hot sun all day long but no one got burned no one got anything it was just an awesome time and they had the olympic pools that you could swim in so you had the diving board where the kids could jump in and then they had the lanes marked off so you could swim laps if you wanted to and then there was like a little shallow end if you just wanted to swim in the pool i'm like awesome what an awesome time so we absolutely love that had such a fantastic time kids are like when can we go back when can we go back and i'm like we'll definitely go back and it wasn't like a huge thing but i feel like the price you pay you know it was less than a hundred dollars for our family to go and if you went to like a uh, a name one there's another big huge one up by us it's like you know 60 a person 75 per person and I'm like that's just crazy <laughs> so I'm like we all got to go and have a great time it wasn't too far from where we're at it's a great town it was a we looked up the rating of the town and it was like an A rating town like just a good small little town kind of middle of nowhere so great place we had such a good time on Saturday for the whole day and then we were driving home and we're like Oh, we're so close to our favorite beach or one of our favorite beaches so I'm like do we stop yeah you gotta stop you're like right by it you gotta stop it at our beach and it was so, it was really windy that day it was beautiful bright blue sky 80 degrees but it was very windy and so the beach it had a, definitely a lot of seaweed on the shore I was like ooh, it was interesting because we ended up going the next day which you'll see in another video and there wasn't that much seaweed on the shore at all but this one was just full of red it's not the red tide stuff it's just red seaweed so it was very like the water was just crashing and, you know we're out there scooping looking for our, our shark teeth that we love to look for the kids were up on the shore they were jensen made this little thing look what he made he's like this is my little easter little thing so it was like the tomb i'm like how cool he had little things inside there made the little put the cross on the front I'm like that's awesome I know like on the bigger beaches we saw different pictures on social media where they would do different um sand castles and things like like he has risen and that I'm like that is so so cool so that was our Saturday we just had a great time all day long it was like just such a good outdoor water park day you know sometimes after you go to those water parks like we went as a kid and you'd be exhausted because you'd be walking up those stairs all day long and just like out in the sun you just felt crispy but we didn't it was like such a good day like it was just amazing amazing overall we're definitely gonna be going back and then uh, doing that more I said maybe we should aim for like once a month to go or whatever but we'll see we'll see what it works out to be but a great time such a fun time in the water and then Easter morning went like this happy Easter from cloudy sort of sunny Florida today the skies are looking a little gloomy but it is still a beautiful day outside the orchids are doing great in the trees and that's so different to see orchids in a tree I've never seen such a thing in my life 
So good. So we've had a wonderful day today. We got the kids some scooters. Lisa from Maxine, she's like, let me come outside, mama. <laughs> you cannot. She's doing so good. I'm waiting for Greg and Madeline to get back. They went for a nice little ride here. Just waiting for them to get back. They're out taking the scooters around the neighborhood. Woohoo! Look at you guys. Oh, no smile. Look at Betty. So much fun. Way fun. Way fun. So highly recommend. So Everybody owns a scooter. So much fun. Look at you guys. Maddie was doing just fine. Yeah, uh, she was in she was in first speed or whatever. Okay. Like one, and then just right there when she saw you with the camera, she was like, oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, two, two. Sorry. She's let me go a little faster. Yeah, How? Just went blowing away. It's way awesome. Way it's awesome. Hey, got a little, we'll go ahead and the ding. <laughs> so fun. Oh my goodness. How way fun this is. Very awesome. Yeah, these are way too cool. Way too cool. We're loving these. I was talking you to dad like when we were passing like the exit. Yes. If you wanted to bike to like 7-Eleven. That's right. Because you, you could put your slushies in the back. Right there. Slushies. We should get a cup holder for the back for slushies. Yeah, oh, well, man. <laughs> Don't take off with it. So way fun. We need a slushie holder. A slushy holder for sure, way fun. So this was earlier in the morning. I was in the kitchen making food and Greg was like, I think we gotta open up the scooter and start riding around the scooters for the day. So this is, they arrived this week. We weren't thinking they're gonna come till next week, but this was a good Easter fun surprise for the kids. So we've been, Florida, Florida, everybody rides scooters. They ride electric bikes. That's what they do to get around. Maybe they do everywhere else too. I don't know. I lived in the mountains and really didn't see them that much. Um, we saw people had them, but it wasn't like everywhere here. It's everywhere, but it is more city and it is more like how you get from place to place. It's a lot nicer outside. Everybody on the beach has them. So this, these were great. We've been wanting to get these for the kids just to, and for us to be able to take around and, and do. So Greg was over here. We were watching a movie this morning and he was over here putting these together. We got two different kinds because we weren't sure we want to invest for everybody, but we weren't sure would do we want the sit down kind like this? you know, kind of scooter, or do you want more like the stand-up ones? And so we weren't really thinking sit-down ones very much, but after riding them, I'm like, I feel like sit-down ones are the way to go. You can stand up on the sit-down one as well, but, um, you know, again, it's going to be preference of what you like to do and size-wise as well. Greg's my technical person here, so he's going to go through all the different speeds. You can do different levels of how fast you can go. It's got headlights. The headlight moves up and down. The brake lights in the back. <laughs> He's like, let me do the thorough review. And this is the other one. All the different construction on it. The kids are watching movies, so I didn't have any voiceover. He's probably telling me everything about the scooter and all the great pieces. It was very simple to put together. I mean, for like him to do that. For me, it would take a little bit more uh, like, okay, how do we do this? But it really was easy. Just the little pieces. It's got a little bell on there. So this is the other one. This is the stand-up scooter. And they have nice little baskets that you can put in the back of them as well. Oh my goodness, do we love these? Your dream I come. Love these. Your dream come true. I've wanted. I've wanted an uh, open scooter like this for ever. Let's see. When we moved to the mountains, mountains, you wanted one. We were walking around our old park. Yes. You know, like the Zirconia Park. There the little time. And I saw a dad. Dad, with yeah. His kids, remember? Yep. And he went by with just a kick scooter with the gigantic wheels, and I was like, oh. <gasps> That's even a thing. Right. You know, because I've loved skateboards and all that ever since I was little. So exactly. When I saw the when I saw the adult with the with the scooter, I was like, okay, we can still do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, you can. Like, that's an adult thing you can do. And then fast forward in for Florida okay. and everybody yeah. rides these. <laughs> so but but then no, I mean it, they quickly evolved. It literally yeah. went from you could get the adult scooters with like the big tires to um, no battery operator. I mean, the whole craze of electric vehicles and electric. Oh and yeah. That. Electric bikes took off. You mm -hmm. know, so we got an electric bike. But I always wanted a scooter. You know. Yes. I was, and then when we got here, we're seeing everybody scooting everywhere. Right. Especially at the beaches. Yes. Because where you know where you park, it's never. It's just where everybody dumps into the beach. Right. So right there in that little section is like jammed up pretty good. So I was always, you know, immediately as soon as I saw that because they all have a road that kind of travels the whole beach, you know, with like tons of different little entrances. But it's like, how far do you want to walk? You know? Right. Like how far do you, you know, you need to go to get away from people. So I always thought, how awesome Did would it you be to have like a, a breakdown scooter? Because these fold in half. Yeah, that's the plus. 
Cause they fit right in the back of the truck. Right. We can put them at any parking lot. I mean, we can literally even park in town. Like right. If we wanted to go to. Let's have date night and like go, we go scootering. To Island or something. Right. Like that. You know, it's got that one parking lot. And, and you can go riding because there's not a whole lot of parking, but there's a lot of. Ton of beach. Ton of beach to go. Yeah, and they all have roads, just no parking. Right. So it's like we, you know, as we're driving by them on the way home, we're like, oh, look at that little entrance right, right. there. Beach. Look at, oh my gosh, there's nobody even out there. Right, but there's no parking. But you'll see an electric scooter parked yeah. there. Yeah, and that's you know, so you'll see a little electric bike. So I thought. It'd be so this would be like nice. A cool way to get us in. Yeah, the, into the tiny little areas. The tiny areas. Yeah, in Anna Maria Island. I mean, that, what better way to to go around the island? Go around the island. We'll have to do a date day there. Yeah, that would be awesome. So fun. So we got so two. We, we, got we did two different kinds because we weren't sure what was going to be yeah. the best because like bikes electric, you can't really take down and put in your car. So we're limited for space and stuff. But these you're able to. So we did the stand up one. Yeah. And I, I thought I always wanted the stand up kind. Yeah. But then we started looking at them and saw that you could get the kind that you sit on. Yeah. That more suits Amy. This is more like, hey, chill and relax. Yeah. And we took we took them for a quick spin earlier today. Yeah. And Amy had just had her sunglasses on. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. This is the best. <laughs> you know, the sun's barreling down and it's like just vibey. Everybody's out, you know. It's beautiful. It's like so comfy. Yeah, super fun. So I thought, I'd, you know, I'd kind of go first and be like the bird on the perch. Kind right. of seeing all the potholes. You look for the potholes like and let yeah. me know when one's up ahead. Right, where Amy can just kind of, you know, sit back and... Like we're, I need the double tandem scooter, so I actually just sit there, be just a, just be driven around, be a passenger. Mm -hmm. yeah, passenger. <laughs> so fun. So, so they're amazing. I mean, front and rear disc brakes. Yeah. How cool is that? What do they got? Like a twenty mile range on both of them. Mm -hmm. They go about twenty miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, super good. Long battery. It takes like five hours to charge them up or whatever. But pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Super easy construction. Like putting them together, they they literally come completely assembled N not assembled in the, in the in the way like they're ready to go out of the box but uh all the cables are run all the connections are made you know it's like all you have to all you have to do on them basically is undo this nut right here right and uh yeah see how the bracket splits right here you slide this piece off to the side because it comes assembled right you know with this loose this is just kind of flopped over but all of this is attached all your cabling all everything is is in place so you literally undo this one bolt, slide those handlebars in, put this assembly back together, you know, tighten it how tight you want it and clamp it down. Perfect. And it's done. And then the same thing here. The folds all have some kind of a safety mechanism to them. Like this one, I believe you pull up and then you can, you know, drop it down nice. and it folds. folds. So if you can get a close up, like this particular model, this bolt was already tightened and that whole assembly was already set. So, uh, literally nothing had to be done here, and that was ready to go. So on this particular bike, all I had to do was the handlebar, scooter, the front, I had to do was the and the basket, and it came with the, the basket. And this particular one came with uh, bungee straps, you know, so you can put all your beach stuff in there, you can put your awesome. towels, you can stuff your sunscreen in the middle and then bungee it down, and you're off. Ready to roll. Kickstands on each one. Super cool. Uh, oh, and then the lights. Yeah, lights in the front. You know, like, when you jam on the, the brake. The back one goes and on. And it not only goes off, but it blinks. Yes. So it's blinking, and then you got the LED in the front, which mm -hmm. is going to be really cool. This one was a little bit more to the assembly, but still simple. You know, you have to obviously Put your seat have, on. You know, get your seat in and get this. I mean, this is just a hand tighten kind of thing to your preference. Right. Like old seat belt. Yeah, you know, like how tight how tight you want this clamp to be. You know, that just happens simply by tightening this knot. Do you see how it just dropped? Yeah. You know, so you just take that and adjust the tension to where you want it and then get it set it at your height, you know, line it up and then bam, squeeze nice. it. Seat set. Nice little basket back here. Yeah, so four bolts on the basket. One, two, three, four. That was assembled. Super easy uh, clip together for the light. Depend. It's like a push lock okay. kind of a thing, so it was really easy. Uh, the handlebar on this was the exact same as that, that one. one. Yep, or it had, you know, you take this, this bracket loose, slide this Thing off, over. put the handlebar in, put it back together, adjust your tension, nice. and you're there. And then <clears throat> this one also has the same kind of deal before it'll fold, you know, lift up the safety, pull that dude down. And then underneath it, see they all have this little secret bolt right here. 
and that's what holds the neck in. So this one took a little bit more adjusting because it doesn't it doesn't fold this way. Right. See how it goes off kilter? Yeah. So, you know, if you can imagine when everything's loose, right. you know, trying to get this lined up just right, it took a, it took a minute. You know, I, I want to put in just a, a t like tension on this, just enough to hold it. And then I went like this, you know, came around here and then, you know, straighten the handlebar to the wheel and put enough, just enough tension on it to where I could open it back up and then final tighten it. Nice. So, I mean, super easy. I would say probably all total, maybe what? 10 minutes out of the box for oh, this yeah. one? 10, 15 minutes. This one's got some shocks on it. Yeah, yeah. This one is like the comfort. Comfort seat. Right. Comfort seat. Look at that seat. Yep. <laughs> like, I would I would totally say guy, girl. Okay. You know, for sure. Right. And you can stand right it too. It's just more like you gotta. I don't know, this is just more like sit back and relax and kind of enjoy. Yeah. But I think you can stand up on this one if you want to as well. You could, for sure. You could, but yeah. why when there's a seat there? Exactly. <laughs> you know, and I mean, mom's going to have all the, you know, all the stuff jammed on her. So. Exactly. They're, you know, we're thinking about getting the, like the basket for in here for putting Maxine. You can take, Mac you can take dogs for rides. <laughs> yes, they have a little <laughs> thing that goes on there. So how know. fun. But just super fun already. Just going around the yard. Let's go, let's sorry, go riding because the sun's going down. We can go take some shots outside. Cool. Sound good? Yeah. Kids were loving taking these around the neighborhood. So Jensen's right around. I said, you, can I film you? He says, yeah, you can film me, Mom. <laughs> so he's being filmed there. But we just drove them around our neighborhood. This was awesome. They had so much fun. They took turns to decide which one they liked better, the, the sit-down one or the stand-up one. Some kids like the sit-down. Some like the stand-up. So it just depends on what they like. But awesome. Very, very awesome. Like I said, there's multiple people in our neighborhood that have these. They go riding by all the time. So the kids will fit right in with everybody else in the neighborhood having them. But they were so great. Just absolutely such a fun time riding around. The good quality. The stand-up was awesome. Like I said, it's got the basket in the back. You can put things. The sit-down one is great. It's got a little bell. So if anybody's, you know, you need to let anybody know, you've got that. And it's got the strap so you can strap things in the back. The lights work good. We had the lights, they were kind of pointed up. We went riding at nighttime and you were able to like move the, the headlight up and down, which was really nice to light your path. I love it. What do you think? I feel like a kid in I, That's ride. what I feel like too, is I feel like when I was a little kid, man. The neighbor adults are looking at us, I'm like, I'm taking around for my kids to do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Jen, I know Jensen and Maddie and Steven are already like, can we ride those every day? <laughs> like, yes, Dad and I'll have to take them for a date night and go uh, by ourselves. Oh my goodness. That'll be way fun. Just for the islands. Just for the islands. I just think that they'd be like just the awesome way to see like Anna Maria or Longboat or That'd any of the awesome. keys or like yeah. when we went to Sanibel. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They had bike rentals and all that, mm -hmm. but like most people were zipping around on these little magic scooters. Go back to it's time to go back to Sanibel. We could go from one end of the island to the other, yes. and then we have those uh, portable battery banks yes, so we can charge them. that we can take, so we can go wear them out for you know two, yeah. three hours or whatever. They won't be fully depleted because they go forever. Yeah, right, forever. But, you know, just like in between going to get like custard or whatever on Sanibel, we can load them up and charge them. I love it. Let's go right in. Okay, let's go. Honey, <laughs> you look so adorable on that little thing. <laughs> You're so cute. That's beautiful. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. That's really cool. Are you getting that sky too? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, yeah. Same to you. Look at that. Oh, I got the palm in the back. Like the stand-up action better? <laughs> you can't, mom can't be trusted. She'll she'll shoot it up to level three. Way fun, babe. <laughs> yeah, do this, do some hanger dude. <laughs> Hang ten, brah. <laughs> they're like they're like uh Little little miniature mopeds, which is so fun. Super cool. Love the light up tail lights. So the kids are loving their scooters. They cannot wait to take them places. We've been able to drive them for a little bit of time, went outside of our neighborhood and kind of drove down the road a little bit. I'm like, these are gonna be a great addition to living here, being able to travel and go visit. And they're small enough, we can put them in the back of a vehicle and go like right at the beach, which we're hoping to. I'm like, that'll be like a great outing. Like, hey, let's take like a date day. Let's go 
beach hopping or let me take like a certain child and go ride here or go ride there because they have them all in the city I know that you can like rent them which is really cool but same thing just be able to take your own and be able to go from place to place so what a great thing that's such a fun fun thing so that was another favorite for their fun Easter along with the water park ranked up there pretty high as well so and then I came in it's funny when I come back to my videos here and I edit like Autumn and Maddie constantly grab my camera, constantly grab my camera, and they like make funny faces on here. They say funny things. Cracks me up. I don't always put it in because I'm like, I know they're just being silly and that. And so Maddie puts her little clip in here. She's getting Maxine. She's talking and <laughs> she, she just cracks me up. I love seeing my kids on here. I'm like, this. I said, I need to do a reel of like bloopers. I don't keep footage because there's so much of it. I think if someone asked me, they're like, you should put a, a video together of like all your bloopers and that. But my video footage, there's so much in one video like gigabyte size and then like like every video is like six seven gigabytes it's huge so like my computer could never hold all of my videos on there and so i wasn't wouldn't be able to keep everything like that so but it just cracks me up so i come into clips like this hi amy how are you so then easter dinner we just did a very simple very simple easy dinner so here is a recipe I video or film myself the words because I, it's a new one and it tells the measurements. This dinner roll recipe is from one of my Mennonite cookbooks. I'm going to do something different because it's more of like a sticky batter that you drop in a pan. So we're going to try something different for our rolls. It's one cup of milk, half a cup of oil, and two tablespoons of honey. Mix that up and then we're going to mix in at one and a half cups of flour, yeast, salt. The yeast is one package of yeast, one teaspoon of salt, and two eggs. And then we're going to Put that in our little mixer over here. I'm gonna do it in my bread machine just to make life easier and then let it do its beating. Then I'll um, continue to add flour. It's three and one quarter cup total of flour. I'm gonna put that in and then let it rise. Okay, I can honestly say these rolls were very, very good. They were like a drop one and I was like, are they gonna be that good? They were very, very good. It had a nice sugary topping, which wasn't too much, but so good. Very light, very fluffy. I'm like, would it have been better to have it like a solid roll? I'm like, I don't think so. I feel like this was very, very good. So a winner on these, I'll definitely be making more of these again. I just throw them on the bread machine. So this is how I started out. Like I said, our meal, it was usually a prep and do a ton of things beforehand, but I didn't, I definitely took it easy for our food. I don't even think I filmed. We put our ham on the smoker. Greg was cooking that. So we put that outside. This is just the bread dough right here. So as that's doing its thing, I made a big giant bowl of Grandma Sandy's macaroni salad. It's a staple. We do ham, macaroni salad, beans, and rolls. And sometimes we throw in either mac and cheese or cheesy potatoes. And so this, I was like, let's just make it easy. Easy for everybody. So I had those two small hams from um, Sam's Club I bought. And so you, we just, we cooked one. I was just going to do one. That one pretty much got eaten up. So I'm glad I made another one. So then I'll have leftovers for the week and you know, stuff for Greg's lunch and also um, stuff to have to make like different leftover ham dishes. So Grandma Sandy's macaroni salad, she puts in it cucumbers and tomatoes. Um, we don't usually eat the tomato part. It just looks more pretty to put them in there. So I didn't mind, like, I just didn't have any, so I didn't bother putting them in there. I'm like, what's, here's Maddie and her funny faces. And then I went to my little garden here and my garden, my, my container gardening and got some green onions. That's a great thing to have out there. I can't wait to plant my new ones, get my little trellis and, uh, you know, try my experiment and like doing the four plants that I have in there. <laughs> It'll be good. <laughs> we'll put salt and pepper in here and all the pasta. I made a huge bowl because this was going to be lunch as well for Greg for the week with ham put into it. Just easy instead of making sandwiches into something he likes. And so it's just easy to do. And Miraquip, I bought the small containers this month and we went through them all. So I'm like, do I do that next time or do I get a big giant one? I think I'm going to probably get the big giant one. I feel like it lasts longer. But that's it. Salt and pepper, easy to go. Grandma Sandy's macaroni salad. Staple, favorite, make it every single year. So I was filling up the little containers because this is what I would put in Greg's lunch with ham right on top. And then I don't have to worry about making sandwiches. So I just did that now. So I don't have to do that earlier in the week. Save myself, or later in the week, not earlier, later in the week. Save myself some work. So macaroni salad, done. So I got that done early in the, like right away so it can cool. Then I started making cheesy potatoes. I did two different ones because one was with the cheese that Jensen can do and one was with the other cheese that everybody can have. So in his, I put some of the Daya cheese and this is my cream of chicken soup. So I ended up putting, I think I had two in our big one and I went back and got two more because that wasn't enough. And then I just put one in his 
the homemade creamy chicken just makes it because the flavor is so, so good. So I had some leftover cheese cubes I found in my freezer. I don't even know how we had those from something. And so I put those um, in there as well. And then for him, I usually use a container of nacho cheese. I did not put that in ours this time, but in his, I do because it makes it more better. So I just got these box macaroni and cheese. They're the dairy-free ones. And so I take the pasta out and put that in a container. We'll use it for something else and then just use the cheese packet. I get them at the discount store and they're only $1.50. So it's like worth it for sure. Sour cream, salt and pepper, and a little bit of chicken bouillon. And then cheese, it's very good. So the small one is the dairy-free one. I found some more cheese to put in there because it didn't look cheesy enough. And then for ours, I had to shred some more cheese because I didn't think that was that much in here. I should have put a container of nacho cheese in here. I just didn't want to open a big old can up. I mean, it's like one more step, but I didn't. <laughs> so I put all of this in here, just shredding this out here. And I ended up, I don't think I even filmed it, but I put some on top of it. And same thing, salt and pepper, chicken bouillon, garlic powder, and sour cream. And then just stir it up. It went nice and gooey. It's yummy. It's a staple in our household. We all love it. And then I baked it in the oven. Um, I sprayed my pan and put it inside there and then we ended up baking the oven for probably about an hour. Here I went back and got more cream and chicken soup because I didn't feel like it was very gooey. Where that extra container of the canned cheddar cheese would have came in handy. But that's okay. Spray it, put this in. And I put some tin foil on it and baked it for a little bit so it kind of, you know, cooked all of it and then I took it off so it got nice and I'm going to say crispy on top. It doesn't like it crispy, but the cheese gets good. And then baked beans. This is simple. Pour these in a container. This was just enough. And in the oven I go and then I grab some veggies here. Some of the Normandy blend. And I put a little bit of olive oil on it and salt and pepper and garlic. And that was it. I covered it with foil so it kind of steam in there and then uh, it was yummy and delicious and then here is the rest of the dough it was very squishy and good this is the topping you do um, two egg whites two tablespoons of honey and sugar a third cup of sugar I think that's what it was I think I said it in the voiceover in the beginning and it said to kind of make it I was thinking fluffy is what I was thinking so I tried using my um, immersion blender it mixed it up so it was just hard getting in because it's so sticky there's probably like a method to doing this where it's not so messy but this worked it was really good. They were very, I was, like I said, I was very surprised. I was like, are these going to turn out at all? I guess they don't look like a nice round roll, but they taste very, very good. Because they say to drop them in the pan. So we dropped them, and then we let them rise back up. I put a cover on them, so maybe, I don't know, maybe about a half hour. And then they um, rose up again. It said two 9 by 13 pans, so I, the white one's a little bit bigger than a 9 by 13 so I was thinking, oh, I'll just get this. I should have just did two glass ones so but either way they worked and then it said to cover the topping on top okay so it said to put the topping on top so I did and then you let it rise for like 20 minutes I did about 30 minutes so I put it on my oven here so it was warmer and then it said to put the topping back on again so I do that over oh, like wait a minute it's gonna push it all down so <laughs> so I'm like you can't do that so I just kind of drizzled the topping on here instructions I, they weren't very clear and I'm like wait that doesn't make sense but these were so good very light very airy for a roll i was like it just was good nice and soft and they're still soft days later and the topping was so good it was one of those where i was like is this going to be good on a dinner roll for ham dinner yeah it was very good so we stuck those in the oven and let them bake and then here's dinner i had them in my top rack so some got a little brown than others but I was just showing, like, look at how soft and fluffy. They were so good. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Sweet, yummy rolls. Cheesy potatoes. Non-cheesy potatoes. <laughs> Macaroni salad, ham, beans, and veggies. And then we took the end of our night. It was a beautiful blue sky day. So we turned the pool on. And we came out and swam for a few hours. It was warm. We had the heater on, so it was nice and warm and this is where we spent the rest of our evening.
So that was our weekend. We enjoyed it. We had such a good time. We relaxed. We also got out and did something fun and the kids had a good time. I think everybody was a little sore and tired and um, got to go, you know, to the beach, which was nice. So be out in nature a little bit and still go and worship at church and just have a good time. Just a good, good weekend. So, all right, you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again tomorrow with another video. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.